Hi, I'm John Wolf, Pollination Specialist for Copert Biological Systems. We're here today to give you some basic instructions on using Copert's bumblebee quads for outdoor pollination. It's important that when you receive your shipment of Copert bumblebee quads, that you get them out to the field as soon as possible. First, Copert bumblebee quads are shipped with only enough food for the shipping process, so they need to forage to be able to feed their brood. And second, it's important that they acclimate themselves to their surroundings so that when the main bloom occurs, they're ready to forage at full force. And this can be done up to a week prior to the full bloom. Another common question is, where should I place my bumblebees once I've received them? With honeybees, generally you would place them in a bee yard somewhere in the periphery of the field. With bumblebees, there's a different answer. We like to have them directly in the field if possible. This is because bumblebees are central place foragers. That means that bumblebees radiate out from the location of their hive in a random foraging pattern. So, if you consider your field a checkerboard, we'd like to see you place your bumblebee quads on black. If that doesn't work for you, the next best way is to put them around the perimeter of the field and space them equidistant from each other if possible. The third way, and least recommended, is to put a couple of areas making, in fact, a bumblebee yard. Maybe you have to do this because you have bears in the vicinity and you have to put a fence around them to protect the bumblebee quads from those bears. Or maybe it's just because of the geography of the field. Whatever, that would be your third choice. Again, your first choice is to think of your field as a checkerboard and put your quads on black. Once you've placed your quads in the field, the next step is to open up each hive. It's a very simple process. Simply open the outer flap of the quad to expose the hive openings underneath. Then grab the lip of the gate and pull up until both hive openings are exposed. You'll notice from the diagram that this door is the in only door or the be home door. This door is an in and out door. We'll discuss both these openings briefly. On this quad we have the openings in both positions. This the full open position for in and out. This on the be home position for in only. First of all the full open position. You'll notice on the in-out hole here on this hive, we have a safety mesh covering it. The bees have to chew through this before they can exit the hive. We do this for three reasons. The first is so the bees can calm down after the shipping process. We want them to come out after they're calm so they'll do an orientation flight and then know their way back to their hive. The second reason is for monitoring purposes. It takes the bees up to 24 hours to chew through this mesh. And because of that, we can use it to monitor the health of the hive. If it's been damaged somehow in the shipping process and they don't chew through within 24 hours, please call your local distributor or your sales representative from Copert for more information. The third reason is you'll have less encounters with bumblebees. You simply open it up, they chew through after a while, and you can leave calmly. You'll never have to open up this hive and run. Now, on to the bee home in only position. We've developed this door so that if you need to move the hive to a new location, maybe to a later blooming crop, or maybe you have to do a chemical application, you have the ability to trap your bees safely inside. It's very easy to do. Again, you have the full open position. You simply slide it down to the in only bee home position. If you do that, say, at four o'clock in the afternoon, by the next morning, all your bees will be trapped inside the hive. You can spray or you can move it, simple as that. The final thing we need to discuss is shade for your Copert bumblebee quad. It's important to give your bumblebee shade because bumblebees by nature are ground dwelling bees. That means that they want to fly down to their hive into the ground where the sun doesn't directly beat on that hive. Well since we put our bumblebee quads into a box and place them in the field, somehow we need to find an artificial shade for that box. Many people have made pallet A-frames or plywood A-frames. Copert has developed a new shade structure that's very simple and easy to use. Simply pop it open, slide the quad in, strap it to a pallet, and you're done. Thank you for taking the time today to watch this instructional video. We hope we've answered most of your questions. If we haven't, please call your local Copert distributor or Copert sales representative for more information.